and welcome to the crew call. Uh, if you're a new coach, you are in the right place. Uh, this is where we meet once a week to talk about the team and how we're doing and uh, where we're going and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, by now you probably have watched the new to crew webinar, you know some of the basics and you'll, you'll learn a bit more here. Um, the leaders, some of the leaders of the crew, the diamond coaches and above, were just in New Orleans this past weekend, uh, learning from some top coaches and just celebrating success that we've had um, in the past year. And we're going to share that with you tonight. You're going to get a special inside scoop of what we learned um, from all the, you know, each other and everything. Uh, let's see, make sure everybody's muted here. All right, everybody's muted. I think. If you are not muted, could you try to mute yourself? Uh, I'm hearing a little bit of background noise. But uh, anyway, so let's get started. Um, like I say, we will have some guests in a minute um, to talk about their experience in New Orleans. New Orleans. And um, so let's get, let's get the show on the road. So the first thing we like to do uh, is some recognition. Um, so this is where we just sort of congratulate uh, the coaches on the team for inspiring others, helping people get started on their fitness, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so this is just sort of what you're doing and what your uh, customers are doing, what your team's doing. So it's just nice to, to sort of give a shout out to people that are that are doing the doing what they need to be doing. So let's see here. Whoa. Uh, it says it's scraping their microphone. If you can just sort of not do that. Um, okay. The, the Crew 200. The, this is Alex Panganaban, Mandy Casey, Yanelba Ferreira, Nick Johnson, Anessa Collier, Steve Schoenmaker, Allison, Allison Urban, Andy Redman, Amanda Sayers, our own Jimmy Nelson, Second Business Center, Robert Marsh, Sherry Wright, Christy right. Weiler, Jacqueline uh, Belay, Emily Adams, Carla Sparks, Leah Rose, Nina Nichols, and oh. Michelle Kellogg. Oh, no. We still have some noise going on back here. Let's see here. Hopefully that kills it. Okay. So let's see the next one. Congratulations on the 200s. The Crew 300. Our own Adrian Fernandez and Alyssa Ricker. Congratulations on that. Keep keep up the good work there. The Crew 400. Oh, look at that. I'm on there. Uh, my combined CBCs. Angela Unru, Valerie Bermudez, and Brandy Martin in combined CBCs. Way to go, 400s. Let's see who the big boys are this week. Let's see here. Oh. The Crew 500 to 999. Kristen Washko. Jamil Madi, the doctor who leads us usually in that. Kobe Linder, back on the top there, combined CBCs, and Shannon Lee. Big shout out to all of you. Congratulations from Bleeding for the Front, living what we're doing. So let's see here. How to Earn Success Club. So I am seeing these, these slides as you're seeing them, so I'm kind of going on the fly here. So one point SE for Shakeology, two points challenge pack. So basically, Excuse me. So Success Club is the basis of how we build our business. Um, it's kind of like, you know, the way we want to get people started is always with a challenge pack. That's the fitness and the nutrition together. And when you get someone started with a challenge pack, you get two Success Club points. Uh, when you get someone started with Shakeology HD by itself, uh, say they already have the fitness side handled, that's one SC point. When you get five of those in a month, you get Success Club. And that means uh, you're going to get paid Shakeology customers the following month. And it also means you're going to get some nice commission because you think about it, when you get someone started with a challenge pack, you're making between 70 and over $100 commission for that challenge pack, like a bonus. And with the Shakeology, you're getting about $30. And so with two challenge packs and one Shakeology, think about it, it's like on the low side, 70, 70, 30. So about $170 in one month uh, that you're making commission. The next month, you're going to make that extra $170. You're going to do it again. But then you're going to get the Shakeology from the previous month because it's HD. It's every month, right? So it's three different orders of Shakeology, 30, 30, 30. It's 90. So now that's $260. 
in the second month that you're making extra and compound, compound, compound. You see it just blows up your business, right? So success club is the thing to do. And plus on top of that, you get rewards. Like I said, the free customers, uh, you earn points towards trips. We're going to be going on a cruise in, in March. So it's just, it's the basis of how we build our business. So that's cool. So that's how you do it. Next, how to earn SC5. And here's kind of what I just went over. So uh, in picture form, if fit dude Frank orders P90X2 challenge pack and to kick his nest quick habit and takes his fitness to the next level, he gets the two points, the challenge pack, right? Jerry's tired of the rut he's in, and he's ready to get start fresh. We got the T25 challenge pack for two points. Uh, Busy Mom Lisa orders Chicago GSD to help her stay on track. There's the one point. So there's your five points, right? Two challenge packs and a shake. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do three challenge packs and hit SC6. You can do five shake all GHDs. You know, obviously, the easiest way to do it is just to talk to three people and get two of them on the challenge pack at least. So there you go. Uh, whoops, success club. And then the SC5. Uh, so far this month uh, is Mary Shrank at SC7, Jimmy Hayes Nelson, SC6 with three coaches, and our own Jamil Madi at SC6. So congratulations, guys. You're, you're leading the way early there. The rest of us better catch up and get on the ball because, I mean, that's the thing. you got to hit it every month uh, to really be serious about your business, really. That's the ground floor right there. So uh, let's see here. Next. The rest of us. Uh, are just below that line. So Christine Santos, Shannon Lee, Beverly Schlag, Solange, Vicky, Kristen Washko, Heather, Allison, Lacey, Michelle, Jorge, Tulin, Wade, Andy, and Kim are all on the board. So they're jumping out there on their way. So the rest of us need to get on the ball and get that going. Sys Club Starters. So this is a program Beachbody started a few months ago. It's really cool. Uh, when you have a new coach come on, uh, and they get success club in their first three months in a row, they get a free summit ticket, you know, and summit is the game changer for everybody. Uh, it's the, the once a year event we have in June, uh, this coming year will be in Vegas. Uh, and the following year will be somewhere else, uh, where you'll get to work out with the trainers. You get to learn from the top coaches. It just changes your business. You know, I have been talking to a lot of the top coaches lately and though the summit experiences are where things change. So when you get a new coach and you really want to get them ingrained with the success club right away, because they can earn a free summit ticket. That's, that's pretty huge. So that's that. Uh, new members for the crew. Always exciting. Amanda Reynolds, Aud Audrey Gomez, Brooke Watson, Cassandra Shantavong, Jarrett Tuttle, Jeremiah Condi, John Leaf, Kathleen Trichis, Kelly Reynolds, Kim Medlock, Kyle Sconberg, Laval Grant, Lena Colclasser, Lee Daltorio, Lindsay Norris, Maureen Keller, Miguel Santos, Rick Schubert, Ron Cresap, Rory Hargaden, and Stephen Morris. Welcome to the crew. Uh, glad to have you. You're part of a big family now. Get used to it. Uh, we like to say we're the family you got to pick. So it's going to be a fun ride. Top recruiter for the month so far is Allison Gomez. So congratulations, Allison. That's exciting. Really stepping out there. And let's see, the crew to crew, the big event that we just had. There's a picture coming off of a paddle boat that we got to go on together. Let's see, I want to make sure I'm not. Uh... Okay, let's see. So, so let's uh, let's go ahead and, and and start talking about the event. Um, I know when I when I went a year ago to Orlando or to uh, New Orleans rather, um, that changed my business. That was the big thing. You know, it was the combination of you know summit and leadership and then the new orleans trip just was amazing you know it's and it's the one-on-one -on -one time you get to have with everybody and you really get to ask the questions you want to ask you know in on this trip i know uh on on the paddle boat some of us were talking about it's summit summit's amazing it'll change your business the one thing about summit is they're teaching what they think everyone needs to know but when you get on something like this or you get in the halls at summit at nighttime or you get on something like this you get to ask the questions you know will change your business, you know? So this was huge for, for me a year ago. It was big this year. I got to have some of my coaches, Jamil uh, and Edzna on there from the Rainmakers, and I know it's going to blow it, things up for them. And so um, we got some coaches from the crew who would love to share their experiences here. So I am going to unmute uh, Miss Mary Shrank so she can share. So let's see here. There we go. Mary, are you there? 
Yep, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can everyone else hear Mary? Looking for some yeses. Just type yes in the question box there. Yes, hello, hello. yes, yes, yes. So they can hear you. Okay, so cool. Go ahead. Awesome. awesome. Well, um, obviously, I was incredibly honored uh, to be able to go on this trip, to have, um, to have earned the trip. I'll say that because it's uh, definitely a trip that you earn. Um, and it was, it total, totally exceeded my expectations. Um, we all know that being able to get into the presence of the top elite coaches uh, is very difficult to do. Summit, there were over 7,000 people there, or 7,000 coaches there. Um, and it wasn't that the, the, you know, top 10 or elite coaches didn't want to talk to us. There was just so many people wanting their time. So for us to be in a, in a, an environment like that, where we had an opportunity to, literally sit at the same table, um, ask the questions that are challenging us right now with our, with our business. Just like John said, you know, when you go to Summit, you know, corporate puts together training programs that they think are what we need help with, which they do a great job and they hit, and they hit the nail on the head. Um, but to be able to, to have our own questions and get them answered was amazing. So I'm just going to sort of uh, throw in some of my takeaways from some, from some conversations that I had. I had the opportunity to stand in line for this paddle boat <laughs> uh, ride with Tommy Migrant. And, yeah, let's mention uh, Mary. Mary, not to interrupt, but let's mention real quick who all was there because I didn't really cover that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So, no, that was my fault for not for not covering who who the guests were because when you started mentioning that, I'm glad you mentioned that. So we had um, the plan was to have Miss Melissa McAllister and her husband Mick. Melissa couldn't make it; she had an amazing experience that she had to go do, and so Mick came, uh, and he was incredible. And we had Lauren and Kevin Knight, and then a surprise guest uh, to replace Melissa was Tommy Migrant. So that was an incredible. So Mary, please continue. Yeah, absolutely, it was incredible. Um, he literally came out of the closet for us. <laughs> he did. Sixteen-hour drive. It was amazing. Yeah, he said he needed to catch up on his personal development, I'll say. Um, so anyway, I had an opportunity to stand in line with him, and I'm sure he would have loved to have run away from me, but he couldn't. He was trapped in, 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 the, in the ropes. <laughs> but one of the things we talked about were, we talked a lot about challenge groups, and, uh, and, and he recommended, or he said what he does, is instead of saying that, um, you know, who wants to join my challenge group, or who's in, or... Um, comment below if you want to join his wording is i'm looking for five people from my such and such challenge group um which i i just really like that I, I, because it wasn't um it didn't feel like a directive it just felt, it just sounded like hey i'm looking for five people so if it's not you do you know somebody else <laughs> uh and so i I, I wrote that down i really like that and the other thing that he says uh once he has his list of challengers um when he sends out the requirements to them, which I have my list too, but instead of saying the word requirement, which is pretty harsh, he likes to say, we'll be doing this by the book. And not only does he say by the book, but he says, um, we're going to do it like the test group by the book. And if you think about that, everyone knows that the test group, you know, generated amazing results. So it's, you know, not quote unquote re requirements, which sounds so harsh, but rather by the book. Um, I um, uh, capitalized on my time with Nick uh, McAllister in the back seat of the van heading over to, uh, to Kelly's sister's house for our awesome uh, shrimp boil. And uh, we talked oh, yeah. a lot about uh, his, his, Melissa's invitations and the manner in which she does challenge groups. Uh, and one of the things he said was that she never really uses the word challenge group in her invitation. Like he gave me an example that one of her latest challenge group invitations was merely a picture or might even been a video of her trying to button like skinny jeans. And it just said, and so her invitation was more about inviting people for the results instead of inviting them to a challenge group. It was more about, hey, you, you want to button your pants? So let's button our pants or something like that. And I thought, wow, yeah, because at the end of the day, we're, we're, we're really helping people with the results, not necessarily you know, buy this and, and get into the challenge group. Uh, and then my conversation with Lauren uh, at our shrimp boil, we talked at the table and we were talking about uh, ensuring, and, and actually interestingly enough, Jan Janelle Summers in that video we had for our Coach Basics 
I think it was Coach Basics, um, she touched on the same thing, just ensuring that our posts add value to attract a greater audience, um, like recipes and modification tips and things like that, as opposed to us, you know, always trying to chase down more people to like our page and, and more people to come to us. Um, we need to attract a greater audience by, by having posts that add value where they want to come and see our page every day or they're looking for, hey, what did Mary say today, um, that add value to their lives. Definitely. Not to mention we had a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, to, to kind of break down what we did, um, you know, the first night we got there and the first night Kelly's family who lives there in New Orleans was gracious enough to host us and do a, a live shrimp and crab boil right in front of us and her mom had worked a, over a month on this gumbo and this crawfish etouffee and it was incredible you know and i know a year ago mike ryan who was one of the guests for the trip said you know no matter what i can do in life uh, however much money or whatever i can never recreate this experience and that's that was just the case there um did you feel that same way mary Oh my gosh! It, the, when we when we got out of those vans, there what were there twenty four of us total, maybe? Yeah, about. Okay, we got out of these vans and we were walking up the yard to someone's house, yeah. and there were like balloons that said "Welcome Crew." I honestly, my eyes filled up with tears and I got chills all over me. I was like, seriously, we're these people are having us in their house and in their backyard. Um, it was the most warm and unbelievable experience. And not to mention, first of all, they were all dressed like Duck Dynasty, <laughs> which was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, and, and that food, I mean, not only is that food expensive, but that takes a lot of time to put that together. Mm. And I will say this, the next night at a restaurant, I had ordered crawfish etouffee. Nowhere near I, as good I as I know, right? The whole, the whole weekend I was ordering etouffee, trying to recreate that experience, and I couldn't do it. Me too. It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they had, you know, New Orleans houses, they have verandas on the second floor. And so on the way up in the second, there was giant balloons that just said crew. And then on the ground, it said, you know, 2013. It was, it was incredible. We all just kind of freaked out about that. Well, thank you for, for, your, for your stuff there, Mary. And it was amazing to hang out with you. And uh, I think what was so cool about this event, we all learned from each other. So that was, yep. that was a lot of fun. So let's see here get over to uh unmuting bev here miss beverly schlag are you there hello hello can you hear me i can hear you awesome okay um well so this experience i mean i i feel so blessed that i was able to go on this trip i feel honored that i was that i was able to earn it and that I mean I I felt spoiled the entire time I mean I just it was kind of surreal to me I just it was an amazing experience um, and I've gone to um, two summits and uh, a couple game plan events and it's just so different um, than that type of experience because those are very um, like the time that you spend there there's always like something that needs to be done you're having to go to a meeting you're having to listen to somebody speak and and while there the information that you're being provided is phenomenal it's not the same as being able to just go up and just talk to these people that are doing so well in their business to get their opinions and get their um, what they're doing and to really realize that they are just like every single one of us and they're just they just tweaked it just right to make it work for them mm. um, there were a couple things that I took away um, with I think Mick was the one that basically said it that when it comes to Instagram, um, you have one second to capture somebody's interest. Because if you go and you search like exercise and you find a picture on that, then you refresh that same thing, that picture that you just saw is gone. 
I mean, it'll take you forever to scroll and find that picture again. Right, right. So, yeah. So you have to have an image that's going to capture someone's attention or a video that's going to capture someone's attention, and it needs to add value, as Mary was saying. It needs to add value or else people are not going to be interested, which is kind of different than Facebook, per se. I mean, specifically like Facebook, you can post a lot more pictures about your family. You want to do that and put a little bit of your fitness and health and stuff like that into your post. But whereas Instagram, if you're focusing on fitness, the majority of your pictures and your posts should be should be on fitness. So less of the stuff that you'll necessarily put on Facebook. Um, and then the other thing was, I know that for me, I have a very hard time keeping people interested in my challenge group. Um, by the end of the challenge group, it's usually kind of dwindled down to maybe one or two people. And um, Mick basically said that they don't, he asked me how often do I have people check in, and I said, well, daily. And he said, well, that may seem like a lot more work than what people actually want to do. And instead of it seeming like something fun and helpful, it may make them feel like they're having to work too hard. And he apparently does not, with their challenge group, he does not have people post daily necessarily. He will do um, like check-ins every three days. And there's every once in a while where if it was like an insanity group, he would tell everybody, okay, we're going to go dark for a week and we're going to come back on Saturday or Monday or whatever the day is exactly a week away and say, you know, tell everybody how your fit test improved or, you know, um, just tell everybody how your week has gone. But he tries to make it to be a fun, um, something fun for like a challenge within it. But that way that the people don't feel like they're, like, you know, you have to come in every day, you have to check in every day, and it doesn't feel as much like work. It feels more like fun. Definitely. So um, those were actually the two main things that stuck out to me more than anything else. Um, also, Jeff Hill was there, and that man is just amazing. <laughs> I mean, he just, he's just so nice, and he really cares about the coaches. Like, he really wants to know what would help us to better our business and to achieve success, and that just, it's, it was humbling to see how, just how nice he was and how caring he is towards us. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a great point. Um, I forgot to mention Jeff Hill from Corporate was a special guest as well, and and that was something we did not have last year. So that was a really fascinating um, point of view uh, with that, because you know that first night we were at uh, the the Sanji's house and Tommy just started going and and had a really good. Thing he was going on and, and then Jimmy sort of was m sort of moderating having Lauren jump in and Mick jump in and, and then Jeff jumps in from a, with a totally different viewpoint and it was it was really fascinating to hear that so I know I got a lot out of that yeah yeah that night was amazing because I did get to I sat next to him during during dinner and he was just asking just asking the table about you know what tools would help us and you know, if the tools that are in place right now, if we really actually utilize those tools and where we actually go to search out our information, if we if we use um, the coach uh, 411 on the Facebook page, and if we go to the back office and use breaking coach knows, news, which, you know, what we do. And I just thought that was really interesting that he really, he wanted to know. Yeah, and while I'm thinking of it, um, you know, one of the things I asked him one of the evenings at the Star Diamond reception, so we had a, uh, one evening that was a Star Diamond dinner, and um, 
I said, you know, that Michael Neiman training video is phenomenal. You know, he's he's so entertaining. It's so well produced. You know, we, we would love to have more of those. And he said, guess what? Two more are coming. And sure enough, today, uh, Arnold Nakaha uh, posted about a new one that I, I shared with the crew that's also really good about how to make commissions. So uh, it is exciting, like you say, to, to really see that corporate cares about us and they're they're listening and they're willing to adjust things for us. So that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for that. Uh, it was awesome hanging out with you. I'm going to move it over to, I don't see Kristen in here on the list. Are you th out there, Kristen? Ms. Washko? Let's see here. Let me jump on my Facebook because I know she's going to jump in, call in. Let's see here. Are you on? I don't see you on the list. Kristen is texting me. Let's see here. 540 number. Kristen, um, I'm seeing names on this list, and I don't see your name. So um, I don't know. Are you just phone only uh, and not the webinar? Maybe that's the reason. Let's see here. I've got 22 attendees, I've got names. I just dialed in, can can switch. Yeah, can you, are you able to switch over to the webinar? Cause then I could see your name and then I could click on you. Um, other than that, I'm gonna have to like <laughs> call you on my phone and try to do like a speaker phone that might get messy. So if you can do that. So yeah, so the 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 order of what happened, like I said, the first day we get there, and that night the Sanjis welcome us into their home with this homemade stuff, which is, you know, it spoils us for the whole rest of the weekend because you know none of the food is as good as that. And uh, then the next day we get we get together, and there's Kristen. So the next day we get together, and um, we all go on a paddle boat, and that's from the picture, and that was awesome. And uh, then that night we split up, and we do a star diamond dinner and a regular. Uh, diamond dinner and we get back together and just have fun and and it was amazing so and then Sunday was a free day for us to do whatever and people leave as they needed to and but a lot of us kind of toured New Orleans so it was a lot of fun so here is Kristen Kristen are you there hey John hey there you are hey sorry about that no no um, oh, please share Yes, yes. I loved what I heard Mary and Bev say, and I was like, oh, they took what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but I, I still have a lot of different things. The, the trip was amazing, just amazing, and it was just so organic, like they said, where you're in an elevator in the lobby or walking down the street, and there was a lot of walking, <laughs> um, and just having conversations with these huge leaders that were so completely real um, and were happy to talk to you and answer your questions and really listen to what your your needs were. So it, it was so incredibly valuable. I, I cannot stress enough how important it is to try and, um, not to try, but to get on these trips. Mm. Uh, Lauren Knight, the first, the first thing that really stuck with me is you know, I and I talked to John about this too, but feeling like you never want to be too pushy or salesy or any of that. And we know that Beachbody promotes your sharing your story. Um, but still in the back of my head, sometimes I, I have that fear. And Lauren was just saying, take Beachbody completely out of the conversation. Um, and sometimes you think, gosh, well, I need to get success club points or you know, volume points, and just like Michelle stressed on today's national call, your goals will not get lost. If you focus on the person, have the conversation with the person, and find out what it is that they need, ultimately that relationship will be developed and it will come around um, and, and better your business. But it was just nice. I said, well, what if you're in a grocery store? I'm always drawn to people in exercise clothes. And, you know, how creepy would that be? <laughs> I'm like, hey, can I have your number? <laughs> and she was just saying, 
you know, just be friendly and fun. And if you see a pair of sneakers that you really like, say, oh, wow, great sneaks or, you know, oh, you must have just worked out. What'd you do? And just very simple like that. And, and just hearing her say that someone who's so successful was just very inspirational um, to me. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of us get caught up in trying to to uh, make the points and and finish months strong and and sort of get mm-hmm. on deadlines with with what we're doing, and so we get stressed and then we push, you know. And I think it's a it's a conversion in your mind to really focus on just building relationship first and business second. And if you do that consistently and for long enough, the numbers will come, you know. And I agree, and I. I had also marked down um, that conversation with you in the lobby while we were waiting to leave <laughs> where you just are, are such a, just a great boost for someone's self-confidence where you were just saying, just very matter of fact, it's, it's the coaches. You are the value here. You're the service and you're just using the Beachbody product in order to help you do it. But it's you that the people relate to or trust or like you're the one that has the experience and can help them. And, um, right. because you know, a lot of coaches feel like they're selling and I, mm-hmm. you know, I, the point I try to always make is when you believe in yourself and you believe in the value of the service you're providing as you and not some product, you're not selling anything, you're providing a service. And so mm-hmm. I know what I do when I approach people is, you know, I coach Insanity, I coach P90X, I coach these things. And uh, if you're gonna work with me, you get to work with me. And we happen to be using some products over here that you, you know you, you probably wanna get because it's gonna help you and it's gonna make it things better, but you're working with me, that's the focus. And a lot of coaches, it takes them time sometimes to feel the value inside themselves that they're worth that conversation. You know, um, One of the conversations we I think we also had was, you know, if you walk into a room of the best coaches, this is something they said at leadership. Mm-hmm. Leader, if you walk into a room of the best coaches in Beachbody, all of the all the leaders of Beachbody, uh, and the question to you is, um, who would you have coach you if you could choose any coach out of the room? And bottom line, you think about it, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's Tommy Migrant, there's Janelle Summers, there's Jimmy Nelson, there's all these people. You know, if you don't look in that whole room and say, me, me, like yourself, then you gotta you gotta look in the mirror some more because you are as valuable as any of those people. And you've got to realize that. And once you realize that, that's when you're going to see the successes those people are seeing because they see that in themselves. They're like Tommy sees that. He's like, no, you get to work with Tommy Migrant. <laughs> you know? So mm-hmm. I, I agree and, with hardly on that point. And Tommy was incredible too, because I got to talk to him when we were on our boat ride. And so, you know, we got information about how to, you know, approach people and challenge groups and, um, mix information about the skinny jeans challenge group, things like that. But then I also was able to talk to Tommy about how to lead a team and help them. And his main message was you need to help them become independent versus doing things for them. Mm. You know, people need to, you know, there are certain people out there that are going to grab the reins and they're going to go but we're actually doing them a disservice if we are holding their hand too much and leading them along. They're not going to realize their own success and and what they're capable of. So that I thought was really important to hear as well. Well, yeah, Um, we all want to do that. We all want to help people as much as we can because we figure that's, that's what they need. But sometimes what they need is kind of just to figure it out. mm Mm-hmm. Um, and then again, just being with all of these other coaches, it just, it, it was incredible. You know, Christy and Mary gave me lots of tips on how they run their challenge groups. And the bottom line is you just take all of this information that you get from corporate, from crew calls, from conversations, and then you find out how it'll work best with who you are. Exactly. And um, just hit, the more knowledge you have, just like our daily personal development, the better you're going to be. Um, and I, I just want to say to everybody out there that this time last year, I did not expect to, um, I just didn't really think, oh, I'll be on the diamond trip. I wanted to, but I didn't, you know, I, I just, it wasn't really there. And since I've been a coach, I have been at every success club trip and now I've been at diamond and 
It's these trips that make you a better coach um, because you do get those little conversations, you know, not in the thousands of people at Summit and things like that. And so everybody out there, everybody listening can do this. And I would just set it as a goal and um, buckle down and just be you and help people. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it, Kristen. Thanks for the, thanks for that. And thanks. I agree totally. I agree. You know, everyone out there shouldn't, should not be saying, Oh, I, I can't do this trip or, Oh, I'm not, I'm probably not going to do that next year or whatever. You should say, I'm going to be on this trip next year. You know, we've got a post in the crew uh, that Kobe started, you know, saying post right there, you're going to be on the trip next year, make it real, make it accountable. And, and it'll happen. You know, there's, um, just as a real quick aside, I did a vision board. You can go on, it sounds cheesy, but you can go on like Oprah's website. You can do a vision board and you can see, I don't know if you can see the, my screen here. Let me see if I can share this with you. Um, the background, yeah, you can sort of see the background of my screen and you can see the different things on there. I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, let's see here. I have got, let's minimize, minimize like crazy here. All these things on here that I did in January, I posted all these things, um, you know, relationship, dog, my dog, you know, uh, fitness, rank, uh, all these things. One of them was to shoot uh, a photo of the Golden Gate Bridge. And I, you know, this because I'm a photographer, I like that kind of stuff. And I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't have any plan to do it, but I put it out there, you know, and I wrote it down and, and it became real. Like three or four months later, I got this personal development conference that happened to be outside of San Francisco and it happened. So make it real, put it down, put your name on there. Um, so let's see next thing here. So the webinars, uh, crew webinars, Thursday, three to 4 PM central time. We have special, uh, hangout webinars for people who do well and you get one-on-one -on -one time, kind of like these events, you get uh, online one-on-one -on -one time with people, um, or small group time with video. So you can see each other. Uh, first Thursday of every month is a crew diamonds. So all the diamonds will get to be in a, in a, a lounge and, and hang out. Uh, we've got our own Facebook group for all the diamonds. So we'll get to do that. So valuable. You, you come out of those, it's just maybe 30 minutes to an hour and you just share what, what's going right and go, what's going wrong and give each other ideas. And it's like within five seconds, you'll be like, Oh, duh, that, that makes sense. And, and your business just takes off. So those are so valuable. Same thing. Uh, third Thursday every month. Uh, people who hit the 500 plus club in the volume rankings uh, get the same thing. And like I said, you, you got tons of coaches, uh, myself included, that within two seconds of just some stupid little, oh, that, that's, you know, this and this and this. It's just, it makes so much sense, you know, to, to try to get into those because it'll help a lot. Um, so, yes, yeah, since Vicky said the, this morning's national call was great. The national morning calls, you know, Mary Shranks will tell you any day of the week. She's a big proponent of them. Those will just get your week off to the right foot, on the right foot. You'll learn from every different top coach out there how to do things. Certain things are the same across the board, and you learn those and you get it ingrained. So every Monday morning, uh, hop on that. Um, three ways to earn $900 for the holidays. This is sort of what I was leading to with the Success Club idea. So um, in October, October's already gone, but same idea, you know. Um, Free challenge packs, you get the commission. Uh, five new HD sales, you can do it that way. Three and one, whatever you want to do. And then November, you do the same thing and it compounds. You get more because of the previous month's Shakeology. Uh, and then it compounds again from the previous month's Shakeology and the previous month's Shakeology. And that's it, it just adds up so quickly. You, you think, oh, this is just three things. That should only be like, you know, five, six hundred bucks. No, it just it adds because those Shakeologies keep compounding. So you can take a picture of this, put it on your phone. Uh, this is how you can get some extra cash for the holidays. It's pretty simple. And you can still get quite a bit even without October. So, I mean, you can see you, you'll still get like six, seven hundred bucks even without October. So that's awesome. Whoop, other way. Uh, new personal development. David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. I know Jimmy uh, has read this. I've not read this yet, so I have to look at it. Um, uh, I think Malcolm Gladwell... Uh, talks about a lot of the sort of the different ways of thinking of things. So this, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to this because I think Jimmy was telling me about this and turns out back, back in biblical times, this is the book I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, slingers were actually very common and, and the big guys were common and slingers actually could uh, defeat the bigger guys. But I think Goliath didn't realize he was facing a slinger. So 
really different ways to think, to see things like that. So I'm looking forward to reading that and hopefully you are too. Personal development, you know, I would get coaches started as coaches just for personal development alone. It will change your life. You know, all the top coaches all the way down will tell you they are not the same people they were uh, three or four years ago before personal development. Uh, it will just, there's nothing wrong with you now, but it will just make you grow and learn and be better and better and better on and on and on. So, and obviously it, that makes your business better. So it's a no brainer. You should be doing uh, 10 pages, 15 minutes a day of audio. I love audio. So I do audio books. Um, so that's that. And we want to see your before and afters. Obviously that's what makes this thing grow. Um, so as your journey goes, We've got some here from the crew. Uh, let's see more. Post them to the crew. We'd love to share them. All the ones we post to the crew, you're always welcome to use to, to help share and invite and to challenge groups. So let's get more out there. That's always exciting. Uh, and not just like weight loss or things that, of that nature. If you've got yourself or a relative who overcame some issue in their body uh, due to either psychology or fitness program, let us know that, you know. So there's the more stories we have, the, the better we can share this stuff, you know? So that's cool. Uh, let's see new coaches. Obviously the new to crew webinar is out there. Um, anytime you invite a coach to the crew, always welcome them using the three W's, uh, ask them who they are, why you got started, what they want to get out of it. And then, uh, copy this link and, and say, you know, go to this link, the crew trainings.com slash new coach. And this is the first step they need to do that will really get them going on the right foot. So it's just some basic stuff they should learn. And that is it. So we, we've got done pretty quick and, uh, you know, post to the crew, uh, some of the takeaways that you got from tonight's call. Uh, thank the people that shared their stories, uh, from new Orleans. It was an amazing trip. Um, we learned a ton and watch these people, watch these people that were in that picture and watch their businesses grow over the next year. You will not believe it's just going to go spike. It, you know, I know Kobe and myself and other coaches, every once in a while you get in a, you get in a little bit of lull for a little bit and these events just poof, poof, you know, it just blows it up for you. So keep an eye on them, watch them, thank them for what they, you know, shared tonight and you share what you learned uh, from tonight too on the crew wall. So I will see you there and uh, crush it crew. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.